All this week, we are focusing on the race for Bear County Judge, talking to the candidates throughout the week about why they're in the race and priorities for the county if elected. We talked to Peter Sakai on Monday, Judge Peter Sakai yesterday, Representative Ina Minjares on Friday, former County Commissioner Trish DeBerry, and today we have Isalise Mesa Gonzalez, who is running for County Judge. You have served as the Chief of Staff for Mayor Ron Nirenberg. So thank you so much for being here, and let's talk first thing off the bat why are you in this race thank you for having me um i'm in this race because i am born and raised here in san antonio texas and i grew up in a family dedicated to public service uh, my parents taught me how to value public service how to work hard every day and to always um, have the courage to stand up to do what's right uh, my husband and i are now raising our two children here in San Antonio. I'm invested in this community. Uh, San Antonio runs through my, my veins. And um, I am committed to serving this community. I've taken every opportunity I can to serve, uh, whether it was serving on the Mayor's Commission on the Status of Women, Healthy Futures of Texas Boards, and the Martinez Street Women's Center. And most recently, I think in, in my public service job as Chief of Staff to the Mayor. So as County Judge, I want to lead Bear County into the future. Uh, build strong families and bring people together to make Bear County a safe and better place to live. Eva Lise, why you've never run for elected office before, I don't think. I wasn't able to find it anyway. Mm. Why county judge? Why did you decide this is a race I'm going to jump into? So I think it's an opportunity for our community to vote again for the leader for the next generation of Bear County residents. I saw firsthand working in the mayor's office. Uh, what it meant to have a strong local government and coordination between our local governments, that being the county government and our city government. Um, I saw this as an opportunity, just as another opportunity, opportunity to serve my community. Um, this is the first time in 20 years that we've had an open seat for this position. Most people, I know for me um, specifically, the only county judge I'm familiar with is, is Judge Nelson Wolf. Um, and so this is an opportunity for our community to, to vote for that next leader. Um, and I hope they choose me to be their, their Bear County judge. Talk a little bit about what you believe that your work as chief of staff for the mayor really can, can give this position. You, you talk about the coordination between the city and the county, and that's certainly been on display for two years now. Uh, so what do you think that you've learned in this position as chief of staff that would benefit the judge position? So the county judge's role, and I think it's important to understand the role of the county judge, the, the county judge is the executive of the county government. Um, I would sometimes describe it to voters as the mayor of the county. Um, so my executive experience serving as chief of staff to that mayor is what I want to bring to our county government. I spearheaded the mayor's response to the COVID. Uh, so we focused on public education. We saw us every day on the news at 6.15 p.m., um, we focused on community outreach and had an aggressive strategy to get vaccines throughout our, our city. Um, we also in initiated a sales tax uh, election, moving our uh, sales tax dollars from our Edwards Aquifer to workforce development, and then finally to our VIA transportation system in perpetuity. So that's another initiative that I, I took on, um, and we were successful in our sales tax elections. Uh, before COVID, we had various economic and workforce development projects that we were rolling out with the city, also with the county. So I think that experience in local governments um, is, is what I want to bring to our county government. I think the number one requirement for a county judge and something that I take very uh, seriously is that continued collaboration between the city and county. Uh, we need to ensure that there are no duplication of efforts. Um, and that our resources are properly distributed uh, for the sake of the taxpayer. Talk I also about, think, go ahead. Oh, I, I was just, I was just going to move on. Sorry, I, I thought you were, my Very apologies. Sure. I, I, one of the big issues that certainly the sheriffs have had to deal with over the many years, Sheriff Salazar and others, as well as the county commissioners and, of course, the county judge, has been the jail, the Bear County Jail. The conditions there, uh, there have been some failed inspections there the overtime issue. How would you deal with the Bear County Jail and the overtime issue? 
So that's been an issue that's been plaguing our community for as long as I can remember. I mean, we've heard that time and time again, um, issues with overtime. So we need to, I want to work with the, the sheriff, uh, collaborate with the sheriff and make sure that we build a strong edu- uh, agency that is dedicated to retention and recruitment of our uh, deputies, um, assistant deputies. So really it's it's working with the sheriff and, and going kind of leaning into what the department has dealt with um, and understanding the issues and, and not just with the sheriff, but also with the deputies and with the folks that are working in the jail. It's a tough job. Um, I, I will never uh, say that it's not. Um, and those folks that are working in those jail systems are providing for their families. So they go home to their families and their families also take on some of that pressure from the job at home, just like most of us do. When we get home, we talk about work and kind of the stress that we have with work. And so we want to make sure that our employees are, are ha- get the resources they need to do their job well. Um, and are not overworked. Um, a lot of times when there's overtime, there's also uh, burning out because we're just, you know, employees are overworked. And so talking with employees um, and understanding what the issues are is, is a priority for me. Ivelisse Mesa Gonzalez, candidate for Bear County Judge. Thank you for being here with us this evening. We do want to mention if somebody wants to rewatch our Q&A with you or any of the other candidates that we are sharing some time with this week, you can find that on ksat.com. I also think it's very appropriate that you bumped your former boss. You know, Ron <laughs> Nuremberg is usually in this uh, in this spot, and so we bumped him for you, so you have bragging rights there. Don't tell him. <laughs> Ivelisse Mesa Gonzalez, thank you for your time. We'll be right back.